Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do this uh, Tier 3 house here. However, I have already done this Tier 3 house uh, in this series, and I've done it in the past before, too, and probably almost all of you have seen this POI. So I think what we're going to do instead is I'm just going to speed run this um, and get it out of the way, and then we'll see if we can find uh, something more unique. Okay, so hope you guys enjoy the speed run. So 
not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out When I use my witchcraft, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that was a pretty good music, huh? I really like that song. Hey, uh, by the way, if you guys didn't already know this, whenever I use music in my videos, um, I put the credits in uh, in the video description uh, down underneath the credits heading. So if you ever want to, you know, if, if I have a particular song that you really liked and you want to look that song up um, on your own, it's always going to be in the description, or if I forget to put it in there, just remind me in the comments, but usually I, I do that. Okay, so let's see, a couple things to get you caught up on. It is day 133, so you might be wondering, well, what happened um, over the last several days? What happened was live streams. So I did a live stream here. Let's uh, pause that for a second. I did a live stream on uh, both October 29th and October 30th. Um, and so uh, what we did on those live streams is we did our first tier fives. And um, so I, because the tier fives take so long, you guys, I mean, literally takes hours to do in real life. I'm probably going to live stream those uh, rather than uh, split them up into, you know, three, four part videos because it just takes so damn long to get through them. Um, so anyways, that all being said, if you want to see those, if you haven't already seen those, some of you uh, probably joined me on that live stream. But in case you didn't, uh, check out the live stream from both October 29th, Friday, October 29th and Saturday, October 30th, uh, where we did on Friday the uh, bookstore skyscraper, the Cracker Book, uh, Tier 5. And then on Saturday, we did a custom uh, Tier 5 POI. It was like a waterworks type of place, but not the vanilla one. Uh, if you're interested, and yeah, check that out. So again, for tier fives, probably not going to be doing those uh, during uh, as let's plays. I'm going to be doing them as live streams because again, they just take so long. Okay. So that being said, it is Horde uh, 133, a little afternoon. So I'm back here at the Horde base, uh, getting things repaired and upgraded. And so I'm going to work on that. And then um, depending upon how our time goes, I might just do some stuff uh, around the house, do a little bit of mining. Uh, I have to repair the spikes again, that kind of thing. Cut some trees if I if need. We got lots of trees to cut. And then bring you guys back uh, when the Horde Night starts. Um, but again, if I feel like we have enough time to do something substantial between then, I'll bring you back um, before the Horde Night and we'll do that and then go from there. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back. It's just about time for the Horde Night to start. So. Uh, I got all of these blocks here upgraded to polished steel and the ones there in the cage where I'm at. And the whole rest of the cage is now upgraded to normal steel. Uh, I lined the side walls on both sides with concrete here uh, because it uh, seems like the zombs, you know, will sometimes tear that up. And so that's been fixed. And we're going to also upgrade this door here to a vault door. Did we miss a, yeah, we missed a little spot there. I've, so I've got the vault door here in my inventory because this door takes damage sometimes too. And inside of there is our generator. Plus it's our escape path too. Man, I thought, I thought I got all that. I guess you always miss something, right? Um, and then I, I put blocks in here on both sides, mostly just to make it look nicer. So everything is you know, kind of nice and, and lined up in terms of the blocks that we didn't, I didn't really necessarily need to do that, but you know, just to make it look good. Right. Uh, so that's pretty much where we are. Uh, just saw, yep. Got another one there to touch up, but I think we're in pretty good shape for tonight. Uh, so let's head on into our cage here and make sure we remember <laughs> to open that thing up this time. Uh, I just saw something else that needed to yeah, that block right there. 
Okay, I think we're good to go. Okay, so let's close that. Uh, we have a couple points to spin, so let's look at those next. So we're working on perception. Uh, we got Lucky Looter maxed out, and we want to get Penetrator maxed out. So to do that, we need Perception level 8, and we currently have level 7. But this is going to take both, uh, all, both two points, both two points, all two points. I don't know what the proper grammar is there. <laughs> both of the two points, maybe is the best way to say that, uh, in order for us then to get uh, the last level in Penetrator which we should be able to do tonight. Okay, so that leaves us with no points. And if you look at my XP bar, you can see we're pretty much right at the beginning. So uh, whatever points we get tonight will be pretty much full uh, levels. And yeah, so that should be good. I've got uh, all my pipe bombs in here, plus three on the on the bar. Last Horde 9, I used about five and a half stacks. So hopefully some it'll be something like that this time too. Because what I'm doing is I'm letting them group up before I throw the bombs rather than just throwing them one after the other um, to, you know, conserve it and get maximum XP, that sort of thing. So, you know, as long as the base can handle the damage, uh, we'll be okay. The only time the base gets really banged up is when we have um, super monsters. Uh, some of the super monsters uh, and also the the vanilla de demo uh, demolition, those guys can do very rapid block damage, so I have to be really, you know, watch that. But uh, so far, they've never actually all the way broken this, you know, this hatch. I've been able to keep up with it. And if they do, you know, then we've got the electric fence, which is going to still stun them. And if they get past that, we still got, you know, polished steel protecting us over here. So I think we're, you know, we're pretty safe uh, with this base. Okay, guys, well, um, I'll go ahead and bring you back when the Horde Night starts, and it's going to be business as usual. We're just going to, I'm just going to show bits and pieces, uh, probably just one song's worth of Horde Night, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll see you when the fun starts.
All right, guys, it is morning. And we just got our fourth level. So we got four full levels from this base. No bonus levels. Um, we're almost exactly where we started. Um, <laughs> I mean, literally almost exactly where we started. If you look at the little pink XP bar. Um, yeah, so that is a really, really, really good return. Four full levels, you know, at my game stage, which is... Let's look at that. We haven't looked at it in a while. I'm game stage 212. Uh, we've killed almost 14,000 zombies, you guys. Don't don't pay attention to that part. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so it looks like we have a few stragglers left. Uh, let's take care of them, and then uh, we'll go check out our loot. As usual, the base held up very well. Um, I, I don't know what kind of damage is over in that corner. We'll have to check that out here in a second. But uh, just this, <clears throat> this thing is just an XP machine, man. All right, cool. Let's put our uh, luckies on here and head on out the door. And look at the base, man. We don't have any destroyed blocks at all. I mean, we got some that are pretty pretty badly damaged, but nothing's actually destroyed. That's great. That is fantastic. Okay, let's uh, loot here. We just finished Night Stalker, I think. Unless we already had that. Um, sneak attack with knives at night. Deal 100% extra damage okay cool Okay, it looks like that's it. So, yeah, we got some nice pieces out of that loot. And, again, base is just in amazing condition. No blocks broken at all. I uh, had, had a couple cops. At least, Well, at least one cop exploded in here. Uh, no demo explosions because, the you know, the pipe bombs pretty much take them out without uh, them exploding at all. So, yeah, we just basically have some touch up to do before the next hard night and um we're doing really well there was a part in uh early on in the night when i had some super monsters in here that they had done some severe damage to one of the um you know the polished steel blocks couldn't believe it i mean within just seconds um so you know, again when those guys come in i gotta i have to eliminate them quickly uh, because they're they're just no joke but yeah, very pleased with the base. Okay, so I think what we're going to do next, guys, is we're going to go, I think we're going to go south and uh, get some, marn up a whole bunch of nitrate in my nitrate mine. I haven't been down there in quite some time, and I think we're going to do that next. Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, meet you guys down there. All right, guys, welcome back. I am uh, ready to head back home. I have just, hear footsteps I uh, just finished mining a whole bunch of nitrate, so my in inventory is full of nitrate, plus I have the motorcycle uh, also loaded up. Uh, if I would have brought the 4x out here, of course, I could have taken more, but it just uses too much fuel. But look at the size of this nitrate deposit. It's just enormous, and I still haven't gotten, you know, all the way to the end of it. It just keeps going back further and further and further, so... Anyway, uh, normally, you know, I get enough nitrate just by mining the stone, but I wanted to stock up on this in particular so we could uh, really make a lot of a lot of gunpowder. And so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much what happened. This, I don't know if you guys remember, very, very long time ago, I did an episode where I was looking for nitrate, and we found this nitrate deposit right on the edge of the snow biome here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I started digging down through here. But uh, the nitrate didn't really go any further than that. So I, I noticed that it kind of started going off to the right. And so basically, yeah, 
it's just it's huge and there's so much more here too so a uh, really good place to come to get nitrate it's a little bit far away but it's not too terribly far away um and not hard to get to really on the motorcycle especially so yeah if we look in the inventory here you can see that this is almost completely full of nitrate and then i've got what i have in my own inventory too i killed a mountain lion when i first got out here and those suckers have 2,000 hit points. They're just kind of scary. Because <laughs> uh, the snow bombs are a really good place to go hunting, uh, in vanilla anyways. But the, the they're just super, super tough here in uh, in Ravenhurst. So, I don't know. Um, let's see if we can pop this guy. With the, you know, with the extra perception that we got, we have a 40% chance now of dismemberment doesn't seem to be working too well on that guy though huh uh with rifles so you know that's gonna overall make us quite a bit more effective with rifles you're gonna stop for a second there there you go um but anyway i i was i thought about maybe going hunting a little bit while i was out here but i just don't have any room <laughs> i have absolutely no room uh for anything else I mean, if we did go hunting, I could put the meat in my inventory and we would only be able to bring back meat, but we wouldn't be able to bring back hide or anything, which I don't really need because I've got, uh, I've got like almost 300 leather, but still, I kind of hate to waste it too, you know? I guess we could ditch the beer and take the meat. Here, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's take the meat and what else could we live without? I mean... There's just not really anything else I'd want to throw away. I've already filled up the tank. Uh, you know, the the tank on the bike, so it should be yeah, it's 100% fuel. Um well, it's like rolling down the hill. So I mean, if we're going to do this, I guess I got to give up something, right? And so if we're going to give something up, I guess it's going to have to be how much is this? 189. Uh, those 54 each. In terms of just monetary value, you know, th that's not really worth a whole lot, I guess. I hate to throw out gasoline, but whatever. Okay, so that'll give us a spot to get meat and hide. I really don't care about the bones. I mean, animal fat would be nice too because we can make butter out of it. So, shit. <laughs> what else would I give up? I guess the beer would be the next thing or maybe the painkiller. <laughs> Um, or we could give up the splints. They're pretty cheap and easy to make too. Yeah, let's, let's ditch the splints, I guess. Okay, so now we can get meat, hide, and animal fat. I don't care about the bones. So let's just go on a, on a little quick hunting trip here. Tough guys, man. And, uh, see if we can bag a couple more deer, another mountain lion or three. Rabbits, chickens, whatever. Whatever there is we can get. And we'll have to keep, you know, fighting the stupid Larry the Lumberjacks, too, because they're all over the place. But we can handle them. But this snow bomb is, is really rugged. It's uh, it's not really very conducive to driving a, a vehicle around in. Oh, we can't do that. We don't have room for anything else. Uh, that little stack of frames over there is another nitrate deposit that I found um, the last time I was over here, which was quite some time ago now, actually. So let's just uh, do a little bit of hunting and see if we can, like I said, bag a little more game here. Damn, there's a... Mountain line right there. So, oh, he's got a thousand hit points, not two thousand. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get up here. We have a chance of popping his head. Look at that, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I didn't tell you guys this, but uh, see this sword I have. This is like a a legendary. I don't think I told you guys this, but I got this from the tier five. Uh, bookstore skyscraper quest and it's just a badass sword look how much damage it does so yeah um, we got some other cool stuff too so if you guys haven't already seen it um, 
good. We got the fat, the... If you haven't already seen that um, stream that was on, uh, it aired on uh, October the 29th on Friday. Uh, we got some really good stuff out of that. And this was one of them. This is a legendary weapon. I was told, too, that the legendaries also give us extra buffs, and I was going to look at that. So if we go here, uh, I don't see any evidence that it's giving us an extra buff because we it should be under, I would think it would be under status effect. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all I know is it's it's a really good weapon. <laughs> Very good weapon. I'm so pretty, you know, pretty happy with it. Okay, let's keep looking for some more mountain lions or maybe we can find ourselves a bear or a deer or something.
All right, guys, that was exciting. <laughs> so we killed, I don't know, um, we didn't really give very much meat, did we? Uh, but we killed five mountain lions, I think, something like that. And who knows how many lumberjacks and a couple other things, too. Uh, but, yeah, that was a, that was a little hairy. Uh, but anyways, I need to uh, try and make it back now uh, in the dark without being able to see very good, which is going to be fun. But, uh, yeah, that's what we got to do. So maybe it'll be a little bit better once we get to the forest. But anyway, guys, I think that is it for this episode. Um, and so I'm going to go make my way back home. Hopefully I can get back there in one piece. Some of this terrain's pretty, pretty rough. Oh, my, it would have to get like pitch black dark too at this point in time. Of course, the game. All right, well, here, let's do this. Let's, um, let's just at least put a red marker uh, where the street is so I kind of can go in that direction. Uh, but anyway, this is all the light I have. <laughs> It's crazy. Oh, man. What I, why do I get myself into these things? But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go here. I, I'll, I'll probably just keep the recorder running in case something uh, really majorly crazy does happen uh, while we're trying to go back. But um, otherwise, I will uh, meet you in... Yeah. Yeah. Run into a tree right next to a zombie. That's that's good. Um, go home. Do stuff. Meet you guys in the next episode. And we're underwater figure out what we're going to do next. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And uh, does anybody have a snorkel I can borrow? <laughs> and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.